Coach Hawkins from Parkinson's Research Lab. We are studying right now, I'm working in a project studying um, inflammatory gene regulation using the protocol of chromatin amino precipitation. Um, so, um, Parkinson's is a neurological de disease and it's pretty much inflammation of the neurons in um, the substantia nigra or a movement center of the brain. Um, we are so we are looking at neuroinflammation, and we are looking at the astrocytes, which are the um, the main non-neuronal cells of the brain. And um, these astrocytes provide trophic, um, crucial trophic support for the neurons. And so when they start to inflame, they produce high levels of nitric oxide. And um, these high levels of nitric oxide can potentially hurt the neurons and cause death or inflammation. So we are looking at that. Um, we know that when um, astrocytes are inflamed, um, the transcription factor NF-kappa B alpha, NF -kappa B is activated and it's bound to NOS2. NOS2, or inducible nitric oxide synthase, is a gene that, um, that produces excess amounts of nitric oxide. So we are looking at that specifically. Um, my hypothesis is chromatin immunoprecipitation is an effective protocol for studying the interaction between P65, which is a component of NF-kappa B, and NOS2 in NOS2-activated raw cells treated with lipopolysaccharide or LPS. Um, the mechanism that, so the mechanism we're looking at of the NF-kappa B activation is um, once I kappa B alpha is degraded, um, uh, the rest of NF kappa B is translocated into this nucleus where it binds to the DNA and activates the NOS2 gene. Um, what we do then with that is we treated ourselves with saline and LPS, and um, then we froze the cell's activity. We isolated the DNA, we sheared the DNA into many little pieces, we added our specific antibody, our P65 antibody that bound to the P65 protein, um, then we cleared out all the rest of all the other cell junk and we isolated the DNA that was bound only to the P65 protein. Um, then we replicated that DNA using polymerase chain reaction and um, polymerase chain reaction just through a series of heating and cooling cycles it amplifies the DNA like exponentially. Um, then we ran that DNA through an agrose gel um, to see what we had. And you can see here that um, we have li um, lighter bands in our saline-treated cells than on, in our LPS-treated cells. And that means that so far our um, chromatin immunoprecipitation protocol is working because um, it's working because LPS is strong, um, the LPS bands here are stronger, which showed more NOS2 activation, and um, LPS is a known inducer of um, NOS2. So, so yeah, so, so our conclusion is we know that it's working in these raw cells, and um, we are, so far, our chromatin amino precipitation protocols are working.